Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to play Game Boy Advance games on your Android device, specifically Pokemon. Um, so before the video I came here and downloaded My Boy Free. It's a Game Boy Advance emulator, which is basically just a virtual Game Boy um, that runs inside of your phone. Um, I've only ever used the free version. There are some pro features. Um, I've never, uh, never needed them for what I've played, so um, we can back out of that. It doesn't come with ROMs, uh, which are like the game cartridges. So um, to find those, just Google search ROMs for Android or uh, Game Boy Advance ROMs, or if you want to be specific, Pokemon Game Boy Advance ROMs, whichever one you want. There's usually some apps will come up. I haven't messed with apps really at all for downloading um, um, ROMs. I haven't done it in a long time. I usually find a website. So you can see there's uh, Lover ROMs, MU Paradise, um, Dope ROMs. There's a bunch of sites that have these. Um, find one that you like. Um, go to it. They'll usually have um, like some search functions to help you narrow down what you want. See like your popular consoles. You can figure out where you want to go. Uh, and down here, a little bit farther, popular games, Pokemon. There we go. Fire Red version. So let's grab that. So this page is all loaded up. Um, we just hit download. So we will let the um, download start. And let's come over here and take a look at the progress. I'm gonna pause it while it downloads. Okay, so my download has completed. And now uh, this is a little tip. If you click on the download, um, usually what happens is it'll bring it up in like your file explorer. And now it's in a zip format, dot .zip at the end on the right side over here. Um, it, the Game Boy Advance emulator needs to see it as a zip file. If you extract it, um, there will be a .gba file, um, but the emulator can't flat out read the .gba file, so it needs to stay in zip format. And so this is just in our downloads folder. You can, um, if you know how to move files around with the file explorer program um, you're free to do that that's perfectly fine um, but I'm just gonna leave it in the downloads for now so I come back over here to my boy um, and then it, it brings up a load game screen so this is basically a file explorer in itself right um, so I can so if you had moved uh, your files around you can still find them Mine were in download, so I go to download, and there it is, Pokemon Fire Red .zip. I can click on that, and it's going to load up and play. And so, there we go. That's the basics. Um, one side note, I've seen a lot of people ask about this. Um, there's a save function here. Um, so you have to buy the full version to, to save. If you're playing Pokemon this is not important because you can save in the game and then when you launch it uh, when you start it up um the your file is saved in the game this this save here like this will save it actually it, it's saved that's interesting um this will start it at that exact point um so if you were like in a game that doesn't allow you to save you could save the state and jump right back in or like for pokemon you could save like right in the middle of a battle and then come right back into that. That's what that means. Um, but you you don't need it to actually play it and to save your process uh, progress. Um, I'm kind of curious if that will load now. Nope, it won't load. It'll save it, but it won't load it yet until you buy full version. But uh, that's basically how you how you play that. Then um, you can actually go out of this. You can see that it's still running, and it won't actually close out until you come in and hit uh, close. Um, so that'll actually shut the Game Boy off, essentially, is what that's doing. Also, what you can do with your settings is if you hit the reset, um, that's like turning the power on and off on a Game Boy. Um, that's basically the equivalent. So, uh, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Um, I know there's been some issues in the past. Um, finding ROMs can be difficult, that sort of a thing. Um, leave your comments in the comment section below, and I will try and help you as best as I can. Thanks for watching.